today I got a 2001 GMC Yukon as a 6 liter customer complaining of some idle issues stalling running rough and if you look at my scan tool I have the a generic 300 random misfire a 404 EGR feedback signal out of range and the 1404 the position there EGR closed performance so I'm gonna chase that first because if it is stuck open with carbon or whatever like I'm suspecting it may set the misfire as well so we'll look into that if we have to go further but for right now I'm gonna go for the EGR side all right I have it running it does have a lot of miles on it uh, a little bit lumpy at idle service engine soon lights on there's a couple things you can do with the scanner just to play around a little bit with the uh, functional if I can get a non glare point here you can uh, go to functional tests and I can do output controls and get an EGR control and if I scroll through here and get down to the EGR info you can see the EGR close voltage is like 1.08 and you can see where my position is right now is 1.69 so already with the rough idle it appears that the EGR valves stuck open so I can uh, you know see a zero desired EGR percentage now I can I can test this and go to percentage you can see I'm at 40% it's saying 39% desired it's close uh, it's trying to energize it but my position voltage is not changing I'll probably get time dot here I think I only have 60 seconds or whatever but you can see the EGR valve is not working when I'm commanding it so um, I'm gonna check out here we go got timed out I'm gonna go uh, check the control side and see if the computer is even trying to control it and then we'll probably end up pulling it off so on the misfire end if I go to uh, I'm in the generic data I'm looking at my freeze frame the misfire is being detected at 673 so it's at idle it's an open loop but my fuel trims are still learned pretty positive so all this is indicating the uh, the vacuum leak caused by a stuck open EGR valve so if I go to my data display and I look at see if I can find my fuel trims there's my fuel trims right there and I think I'm in closed loop now I don't know where that's at but you can see my fuel trims are on the long term at 20 percent 25 percent so it had learned to compensate for this it all kind of fits so that's where I'm gonna go if you look at the wiring diagram there's the EGR valve and you have the pretty much the electric motor that's going to drive the panel and then you have the position sensor so the gray one is a 5 volt reference the purple is a sensor ground the uh, white one is a ground and the red one is the controlled power to the motor and then the brown one here is going to be your signal wire back to the PCM. So there's the EGR valve, there's the front of the car right there, and the right side of the engine there's the EGR valve. There's the connector, and what I have back probed is the, on the green side, I have the red wire, which is gonna be my computer control, and 
the middle wire, which I can't remember what color it is, but that's my signal. So if you look at yellow here, I have you know 1.7 volts. So on if you remember on my scan data, no one cares that much. EGR data. Actually, I was under a different test there, but you can. So, back at my EGR control, I just got out of it, so I have to scroll back down. But if you look at the. EGR, I get there. Closed voltage is supposed to be 1.08, and you can see I have 1.69. I'm showing 1.72, that's pretty insignificant. So if I go over here and I go to my test, uh, to the test and I you know, command that, you'll see it pulsed it for a couple times and then it went wide open because this test is trying to make this 1.75 actually moved, so it's not. Now it's it's actually full blown at 100% because it can't make it work. So I'm now gonna pull the valve off and see if it's physically stuck. This is a fairly simple job. You just have to, you know, take the plug off. Here, get that out of the way, and then there's just two 10 millimeter bolts, and that thing will come right off of there. Fun light. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's the port for the EGR valve. Took it off. Got Nick holding the light for me. I don't know if this is going to show up here real good, but if you look real close inside that sensor, if I can get this light. Let me see your light, Nick. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, yours is brighter. It's kind of hard to see it. Can't even shine at it. But you can see there's carbon built up around this pintle. And it's, it's actually holding it open. And it, it's kind of off center a little bit. So it's probably just jammed in there. I clean that a lot. Hopefully it works. If not, I'll be replacing the valve. All right. So I got a Torx bit that fits in there and I'm gonna see it's spring-loaded I'm gonna just spin it and see if I oh there we go that thing was just totally stuck so what I'm gonna do is get some brake clean or carb clean and I'm gonna spin it there we go it's it'll probably even work now but I'm gonna spend a little time with this and see if I can get all this soot out of there and then pull this up and work all the junk out and see if we can make it work and uh, ship this thing relatively cheaply. All right, after cleaning it out, it's even physically sitting up higher in the bore. There's a little bit of shaft plan there, so I'll probably end up telling him he needs to just get the valve. But for the moment, it's free and it's returning the whole way, so let's put it back on and See what happens. Alright, I got the valve back in. The first thing you want to notice is the, uh, the 0.72 now on my channel 1, which is my, my um, position sensor signal. So it went down a bolt. And then if we go to the back to my EGR test, when it goes into closed loop, which it looks like it did, you could see my short term fuel trim now going negative and my long term working its way down so right there you can see that the vacuum leaks gone the voltage is showing that the pencil is closed now so we'll try to energize it this time and we'll see see what we got so done with the fuel trims they look pretty happy they're coming down so let's go to the EGR test scroll down to my 
EGR closed voltage, you see how that changed now. It learned the 0.67 already. And you can see the position is at 0.67, so it's happy. So we'll go, we'll go to the test. Let's do it at 10%. And you can see now it is duty cycling it at the 10%. So if I go up, it's just a 50 um, stall in the car now, but you can see my voltage went up on the green one. So if I take it back down to 10, down to zero. So you can see as I energize it, my ye yellow signal going up to two and a half volts. All right, I just got time dot. So there's, there's confirmation of the EGR working. Like I said, I'm probably going to tell him to replace it if it backs up again because of the shaft play and the mileage that's on it, but there's an EGR repair. Thanks for watching.